welcome to Medieval Mason. In this video, me and the Mrs. Medieval Mason will be building this red wall inspired marmot hut. Recently, my bride and I have been reading through the Redwall series. While doing so, we began wondering what it would look like if some of the animals from our home in Alaska lived in Redwall, particularly the marmot. After coming up with an idea, we set to work. The first thing we needed was some strips of foam to serve as wooden timbers. Next, some scrap foam was shaped into the hut's roof. For the sides of the building, we cut out the necessary panels from foam core. Lastly, for the stone elements, we 3D printed a rock mold and began making some brick panels from children's foam clay. I'll put a link in the description to my tutorial where I go over this technique in greater detail. With all the pieces prepared, we set about assembling the walls of the hut. For the windows, we 3D printed some window frames and glass panels. The former were inserted into the foam bricks, while the latter were added after painting. For the door, we designed and 3D printed a wide door that we thought would fit the marmot's short, squat stature. With all the hut sides complete, we affixed each wall piece together with some hot glue. Next, support beams made from textured XPS foam were attached to each corner. Off camera, a piece of XPS foam was cut and textured before being affixed to make the hut's chimney. Once the supports and stone panels had been trimmed, it was time to attach the roof. Since marmots live in the cold mountains, we figured the occupant of our hut would have built a few rows of snow catchers on his roof to keep the snow on as insulation during the winter months. Once we were happy with the look of the hut, we gave the whole thing a light priming in gray before airbrushing the stone elements a medium gray and the wooden portions with a dark brown.
With the painting complete, the entire building was given a dry brushing in white to bring out the details. At this point, we thought the roof was looking a little plain, so we decided to add some miniature nails to the seams of the snowcatchers. For above the door, we designed and 3D printed a coat of arms for the hut's occupant. Once this was in place, we covered the hut in a wash of watered down black paint. The final step was to build a base for the model. We added a few rocks made from children's foam clay and some woodland scenic rock molds before covering the base with a terrain paste made from latex caulk, plaster, grout, and gravel. 